Hey friends, for this drawing today, we are going to be using cool and warm colors to create a little fish drawing that looks like a fish that you've caught, that you've won at the fair. Looks like a little bag with a fish in it, okay? Now, for this one, you have to use cool colors and warm colors. Now, just as a review, our warm colors are colors like yellow, orange, and red. They look hot. When you're little and we learn those, we say, woo, hot. They look like hot colors. And our cool colors are colors like green, blue, and purple. They look cold when you're little and we learn those. We say brr, cold when we touch them. Okay, most of you have learned those colors groups with me before. Now, when we use warm colors against cool colors, since they're opposite on the color wheel, they really stand out from each other. It creates something called contrast. If I had colored this fish purple, it's not gonna have as strong of a contrast between the blue because purple and blue are right next to each other on the color wheel, they're not opposites. But since I colored the fish orange, orange and blue are opposites on the color wheel, so it makes it really stand out, that's called contrast. So we're gonna use warm colors for our fish and cool colors for our background. But first we have to learn how to draw a fish. You're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil, I'm gonna do this with an ink pen, so if I mess up, I just mess up, friends, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. We're gonna start by drawing the shape of the bag. We're gonna start by drawing a line across. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line because it's supposed to look like a bag. It's kind of an angled line down, an angled line down, almost like we're gonna draw an upside down triangle, but we don't close it. I'm gonna draw some stripes across, like the ties on the bag, and a couple of ovals and loops look like ties on a bag. And then we're gonna draw the bottom of the bag. We go angled line out this way, diagonal line, angled diagonal line out this way, with a curved bottom. So now we have the bag that our fish is gonna be in, okay? Now at the top of this, we're gonna put a wavy line for the water. Okay, next we have to learn how to draw fish. First, what we do is we draw an oval. So for my little friends doing this, you've learned lots of shapes in class and oval is one of the shapes that you have learned in class and a triangle. So we're gonna put a triangle on his bottom right here. We're gonna do kind of like a letter V that fell over on its side. It's gonna go out this way out this way and then connect the two ends. We're gonna put a rainbow art shape on its back, an upside down rainbow art shape or maybe a smiley face shape on its belly. We can do a curved line to separate its face from its body. Draw any type of eye you want. It can just be a plain dot or a circle and a dot, maybe a line for its mouth. And then we're gonna go bubble, 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 just to make it more interesting. If you want, you can draw scales on your fish, but you don't have to. You can just draw sideways loops. If any of you have ever drawn a mermaid tail, it's kind of like the same type of scales that you do for a mermaid tail, like backward C's. And you can put some lines in its tail or in its fin. All right, that was pretty simple. When you're done with that, you're going to color in the water blue, which is a cool color, and then you're going to color in the fish red, yellow, and orange, which are warm colors. You can add a little bit of purple and green details at the top, which I did just to add in some extra cool colors if you want to, but you don't have to. And when you're done, you can cut it out. And after you cut it out, it looks like you have a fish that you have won at the fair. And you have a drawing that uses cool colors against warm colors to create contrast. So we've learned lots of cool words today. I hope you have fun with this. If you make this one, share it with me. I'd love to see it. Bye guys.